Hi map fans, today we're just having a quick look at layouts and context maps in ArcGIS Pro. This is part of the ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro series. If you are not familiar with that, you can check out the playlist right here. And away we go. Here we are in ArcGIS Pro and I've got a fake project underway. We've got some villages and I've got a base map. So this might be a map that we're using for a publication or something like that. And the map looks good. I'm happy with the way that it is. Uh, no labels on my villages, but that's fine. And what we'd like to do next is create a layout so that we can export this map. Now, just before we create our layout, I'm going to do a couple of things to make life a little easier. Currently, our data frame is called map. And that's all right, but it's a little non-descriptive. So I'm going to call this my data map. And that's where my data is shown. So these villages are presumably my data in this made up world that we're living in. Um, and so I've got my data map. I'm also happy with the current extent. And this is a good tip for you. Bookmarks. I can bookmark this place. So I'm going to go to a new bookmark and I'm going to call this data extent. Now I usually stick a zero one on the end of these because depending on what your layout actually looks like, you might need to alter this particular bookmark, but a very happy place. There we are. So I've made a description for it as well. It's not a hundred percent necessary, but you know, might help if you've got lots of bookmarks. And if we have a look at what that bookmark looks like, it will give us a little uh, thumbnail and it'll tell us what map that bookmark belongs to. So if I have several maps, I can see which map has which bookmarks. So there we go, I've done that. And as always, I'm just gonna save my project to make sure that things don't go awry if we have a crash. Now I'd like to add in my layout. So I'm just going to go up to the insert menu and I'm going to go for a new layout. And you can see here it creates a new layout and adds it to the project. Here we have all sorts of different options and it's mainly to do with page size. So I'm just going to go with an ISO portrait and it's going to be A4. Note the dimensions, it's 210 millimeters by 297 might be worth noting that down just in case and if i click on that we will get a new layout opened and it's blank and it's called layout and we've got tabs okay now then just to point out if we go to our view and we have a look at the catalog pane over in our layout, we now have this new one called layout, and that's what we just created. So your layouts are actually stored in your project file and you can access them there. So if you ever close a layout accidentally, then you can always find it back in your catalog. So with our layout open, I'm going to add in a map frame and you can see that we have got our data map at default extent possibly the current extent, I think. And then we've got our bookmark here. So the bookmark that we created previously, and you can see it says the source is a bookmark. So I'm gonna go with that. And note that our cursor will change to a crosshair, and we can just go in and boom, draw it on there. And it appears, excellent. Now this does not fit our page size, and that is a bit of a problem. Uh, let's just open up our map frame and go to the properties of it. And over on the side, we've got the placement. So remember before we knew how large our page size was, and that was 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters. And our X position, if we set that to zero and we set our Y position also to zero, that's going to put it in the bottom left hand corner. I'm just going to change this to 297. 
and that one to 210. And there we have it. There's our map. It is in the right place and it fills our page. So our layout's looking pretty good, but the next question is, where are we? Well, we're in Malawi. Excellent. But our users might not know that. This is actually Lake Malawi and unless you're familiar with the area, you might not have a clue where this is. And that's where a context map comes in very useful. So oftentimes we need to include a context map in our actual map. And we can do this in ArcGIS quite easily. Now what I'm going to do, instead of having my data map and just a layout, I'm going to create a new map. And again, I'm going to change the name of it. And this one is going to be called, yes, you guessed it, a context map. Excellent. And the only thing that I'm going to include in this context map is a base map. Now I could use the same one, Bing Maps Hybrid, um, if I wanted to, but I like to keep my context maps very simple so that we can just see borders and country names and that's it. So I'm going with the world gray, world light gray canvas base and canvas reference. Excellent. And then I'm going to zoom in so that we can see, uh, where's Malawi? There it is. There we go. So we've got Southern Africa and we've got Malawi and that should give our users enough of a clue as to where we are in the world. Excellent. So that's our context map. That's the extent we want. Next step, make a bookmark. So I'm going to go for a new bookmark and call it context map 01. I'm not going to bother with the description this time in the interests of your time and my sanity. So with our context map set up, if I switch back to my layout, I can include another map frame. And this time I'm going to include context map 01. You can see that our different maps, different extents. And again, we've got the bookmark here. So if I just go to this and notice that we've got snapping switched on, you can turn snapping on and off down here. So that's either to the interactive layout tools and other elements. So I've got that switched on. It's going to find the midpoint and I can draw this rectangle. It should snap to the edge as well. And it has. So I've got a nice space just north of Lake Malawi and I'll just pop this in here. And there we can see our context map. Excellent. Now, in the interest of tidiness, over on our layout, we've got map frame and map frame one. These are not very descriptive, so I'm going to call this my data map frame. And the top one, I am going to call my context map frame. Oops. <sighs> Feel much better now. Okay, so with our context map, uh, currently it's just showing Southern Africa and obviously our map map is showing down here. And up at the top, if you go to insert and you've got the context map frame highlighted, you can go to extent indicator and then you can choose which map frame you would like to show. Now we've only got one option in here currently because we've only got two map frames in there and it'll be the data map frame. So if I click on that, you can see that the extent indicator appears on that map and over in our layout in the context map frame, we now have an extent of the data map frame. So you can choose the symbols, you can change the color, do all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm just gonna go into the properties here and make it bright red purely for demonstration purposes, of course. Excellent, so that's looking good. Now you might notice that down at the bottom, we have a rather small area of our actual area of interest, and we can change that. If I go back to my data map frame and right click it and just go to activate. So that's one way to do this, or I can highlight that, go to layout and click activate. Either either, they both work the same way. 
And once it's activated, notice how the display changes. We can explore, we can do whatever we'd like. And this means that we can actually move and zoom on our map. So I'm going to move it over, well, wherever I like. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to zoom in a bit for the purposes of this demo. And you can see how our extent indicator changes as well. So if I zoom out, our extent indicator becomes a lot bigger. And if I zoom in, the extent indicator updates live. Excellent. And if I go back to the layout, I can close the activation here. There's also the red button there. Do not push the red button. Um, and that will stop our activation. Now, when you're in activation, you can actually add a bookmark. So, you know, I called this data extent one. I could create a new bookmark and call it data extent 02. And then we know that that is what our layout is going to look like. So I'll push the red button, not recommended. And there we are. That's how our layout is currently looking. Now this uh, extent indicator in this layout up at the top, I'm not too sure about it being square. It looks a little invasive. So we could actually put in a context map that is a different shape. So in order to change the context map shape, we can do that quite easily. And up here, when I'm on the insert menu, you've got a choice of different shapes. So you could do a polygon, lasso, ellipse. I'm gonna go for circle. And the map frame that I'll be using is the context map. So I'll go for that one. And I'm just gonna draw this in to be circle shaped. There we are. And you can see that it's using the correct bookmark as well, because that's what we chose from the map frame options. Now the context map frame currently, I don't want that. So I'm just going to switch it off and then I'm going to move this up to where that was. And it just looks a little bit more modern. Um, I just like it a bit better than having a square one. And that's in there and we could add the extent indicator, etc., back and that would all be fine. Now you might notice on this context map that we have quite a lot of writing. We've got the sources of this particular map and you might not be too pleased with the way that the labeling has worked out as well. In the next video, we are going to have a look at how we can change those. And so if you like this video, please don't forget to hit like. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video. And if you're new to ArcGIS Pro, please do go back and have a look at the playlist. We've had lots of comments on the channel recently, which is always great. So thanks very much for those. And please keep them coming. It helps to drive new content. And the last thing that I have to say is... Oh, happy mapping.